everybody, it is 8BitLola003. Yes, I changed my name. This is why. So I have struggled with mental health issues for quite a long time, leading to a bunch of different sorts of issues because of that. Um, there's a number of reasons why. There was a whole process due to a certain life event that caused my family to go seek mental health professional. As you know, my older brother passed away when I turned 19, 20, somewhere around there. I had been seeing this person for quite a long time, um, about four years to be exact. I've been taking a little bit of a break due to financial situations that have kind of put everything on hold. I'll talk more on that later. I have a bunch of different mental health issues, one of them pertaining to uh, what might be a personality disorder. Um, it's kind of difficult to explain, but uh, I'll do a video going more into detail once I have an official diagnosis of what exactly I have. Um, for now, that is why I have changed my name because I feel as though I am, I may have that. Before I was born, my mom told me that I would tremble in her stomach when the environment around her happened to be a little chaotic. She was under a lot of stress when she was pregnant with me and uh, that led to a bunch of other health complications, not only, not only mental but also physical. I had a complicated pregnancy and birth. That kind of led to me having um, epilepsy. I was diagnosed with epilepsy early last year from what I thought were panic attacks since I was very small. My counselor was actually the person that recommended me to see a neurologist as well as my regular doctor did. That is definitely going on and it gets a lot worse when I am stressed. <laughs> I have been under lots of stress lately and uh, I mean I have a tendency to be stressed out quite a bit like I get I'd like go from 0 to 100 really quickly um, <laughs> epilepsy and anxiety are kind of like a hand-in-hand -hand thing and it's kind of annoying because yeah there's recently I've had to be a little extra careful as far as uh, my mental health goes and because that'll lead to physical complications i.e. me twitching on the floor like a fish out of water i can make fun of it i have i have epilepsy i'm not making fun of other people that have epilepsy i have i'm making fun of myself because i feel like that's probably what i look like truth be told i have no idea what the heck i look like when i have a seizure i'm having the seizure i don't know what i look like please do not come at me i'm making fun of myself specifically not anybody else with the with the same physical and mental impairment that I have. I've moved quite a bit in the past year and a half, so um, I had to get stationed where I currently am here in the, uni in the, in the town where my university is, um, just because I had to go from one side of town to the other to get to work, and then go from my current from my previous apartment to a couple of towns over where my college is located they're both about equal distance my my school and my work um from my previous apartment so it was just a lot of gas mileage and i did not i was not able to afford that because i cannot work full-time when i'm going to school full-time so it's got to be one or the other. So I'm now located in my college town, so it saves on gas mileage. And then, of course, the moving constantly was putting a lot of stress and pressure on me, as well as my dog having to go to school. My dog was in school because of my seizures. She was gone for about half a year <laughs> because it's my physical, my mental slash physical impairment is that bad. I have to be monitored by a small, by a small animal. That is also another reason I have been stressed. She looks like a teddy bear. If you watch my TikToks or some of the YouTube videos that I have her featured in, 
she looks like a teddy bear. She doesn't look like a real dog. She's a small dog. She's this big. That's how big she is. Oops, I'm gonna hurt because my hands are to the camera. Um, she's a Yorkie. She's a Yorkie mix. And uh, people are like, oh, she's so cute and stuff. And it's like, yeah, can you not look at her? That's the, one of the biggest things is you cannot distract a service dog. That is the big stress issue. You cannot distract a service dog. There is like a whole violation and code and law thing. I actually went to Target to go shopping for Secret Santa for work. And uh, someone physically picked her up while I was shopping. They physically picked her up and were like, oh, what a cute little dog. She had her vest on with all her patches all over it. They're like, oh, what a cute little dog. You're such a cute little baby. And I'm like, what are you doing? You can't do that. That is against the law. You can get fined for that. There is a whole ordeal. You, if you want to pay for her to go back to school, which costs me and my family quite a bit of money to get her trained, do not distract my dog. <laughs> because of sending her to school, and a huge financial crisis that I have been in for a couple of years involving my many workplaces. Um, my education has had to take a toll on it. Most of my money goes to rent and utilities and all like living and to school. School, going to a four year university is a lot of money. I am the only person in my nuclear family that is attending college. My sister went to trade school um, and got her cosmetology license. She's a professional cosmetologist. She works full time, has a, has a small child to take care of. If she wanted to go to school, it would be a little more complicated. I, however, do not have an expanded family. I live by myself. I live with my dog. <laughs> It's just me and my dog trying to afford college while while paying for rent and stuff is taking a huge toll not only on my mental and physical health, but also on my family's mental and physical health. It's a lot. It is definitely a lot and uh, things weren't as complicated as they could have been. They are definitely very complicated now and so my education has had to take a toll on it. I was hoping to be graduated by now. <laughs> and on my way to Japan to go to art school. Things happen. There was a worldwide pandemic and there was not a lot of money going around at the time because of the worldwide pandemic. Um, that put my education on hold. I had to go to school online. Um, when schools opened back up, I transferred from community college. My camera died. Um, anyway, there's just been a lot of bad luck that's been going around recently in my family, and that pretty much just sums it up. I think it's because it's my bad luck here. I'm pretty sure. There's a superstition that I've kind of developed. Every th three years of my life, something bad happens to me, um, like a series of bad things. It's just what's happened. When I was three, I broke my arm, stepped in a fire ant hill. Um, had to get rushed to emergency because I had glass stuck in my foot. When I was six, my dog got run over. I moved into a haunted house. Um, <laughs> when I was nine, 12, 15, so on, a bunch of bad stuff happens to me about every three years of my life. It's just a weird superstition that I've developed because it's what happened. I'm 24 now. I may not look it. I don't, I'm not 16, I promise. I'm 24 years old. It is a third year of my life. I'm pretty sure it's just a bad luck streak that's going on. It'll be over soon. Yeah, I think it, I think it's just my bad luck year. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when I have a new video up. Also, don't forget to comment. I want to read your comments. Tell me what I tell me what you want to see. I started gaming, and I will be posting gaming videos about once a month. So if you want to see me play any spooky games, I think somebody recommended the baby in yellow. I'm definitely gonna finish Baldi's Basics and see if I can try to beat the game. Check out my other socials. I post to TikTok a little bit more than I post here. So if you don't catch me here, you can catch me on TikTok or my vlog or somewhere else on social media. And I hope you like the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Matane!